I came here to the Unisari Island to take some images. It's really nice winter weather, but uh, today I'm going to talk about white balance. So this is not my subject, the, the Unisari Island or making photographs in the winter. That's going to be another video. Hi there, I'm Peter Forsgaard, an Olympus visionary from Helsinki, Finland. And before we start talking about white balance, please consider to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you get notified when there's a new video online. My videos are all about you getting to be a better photographer. And remember, I post two videos a week on Tuesdays and on Fridays. Be sure to watch the whole video because there are going to be some tips how to use white balance creatively. Even though it's really beautiful weather here, nice snow in the trees and it's not actually that cold even though it is quite cold, that's why I, I have my hat on and, and actually my face is starting to freeze and it's really hard to talk in English when your face is freezing. So I will go to my office and we'll talk about the theory of white balance. It's, in, it's, under, uh, it's important to understand the theory of white balance and after that I will go downtown Helsinki because there are lots and lots of different kinds of lights that have different white balance. But I go to my office now. Ooh. Yeah, ooh, that was nice. And fast to get back home to my office. I know that theory is always boring, but it's very important to understand the concept and the, the theory of white balance so that you can use it effectively and maybe you can use it your own way. It's important also to know the concept because then you can get exact colors on your images. If you need the exact colors, it, if you do more artistic photography, you may not care about the colors, but sometimes the colors need to be very accurate. And then you need to understand the concept of white balance. But let me get my gear and coat off and then we'll head into my office and see what we can learn about white balance. Just a second. Every light source has its own color temperature. It is measured in kelvins. The average temperature in kelvins for daylight is 5500. Back in the film days, most films were balanced to daylight. And when making images in artificial light, which had a lot lower kelvins, we needed to use filters. Because if you were taking pictures with the daylight balance film, in tungsten light, all the pictures were really yellow. And what you needed was a blue filter in front of the lens. But as many other things, also handling white balance with the digital camera is a lot easier. All modern digital cameras have several presets for different kinds of light conditions. And usually the best way to go is to set the camera to auto white balance. But sometimes the presets can be very handy because if you have a constant light, you might want to have a preset that is constant all the way because of course with auto balance it might change a bit and then you might need to do some uh, white balance correction. The different white balance settings in an Olympus cameras are auto white balance, sunny, shadow, cloudy, tungsten, fluorescent, underwater, white balance, flash, capture white balance and Kelvin. Most of these settings are self-explanatory. Capture white balance is an interesting way of doing in, in very hard lighting situations. You make an image of a target and then tell the camera that this target is white and it will correct the white balance accordingly from the data that it gets from the target image. The way it's done, choose the capture white balance and press the info button. Now make the image of a white paper and choose yes. Now the image you took is white to the camera and it will correct the white balance accordingly to that information. And then the Kelvin preset is a, is a preset where you can set the temperature in Kelvins. If you have a color temperature meter and you meter the color temperature around your scene and then you can set that temperature to be your color temperature for your photographs. How to set the presets in your Olympus camera? You can change them from the menu or you can change them from the super panel. Of course the super panel is the most convenient way. Just toggle the 
white balance setting and, sp and press OK again. From the menu you can also see the kelvins that each preset represent. There is also a possibility to fine tune the white balance. A axis is red and blue and J axis is green and magenta. With these you can fine tune if the white balance you are getting is not correct. How can you be sure that your white balance is correct? Histogram can help you. Toggle the info button so that you can get a scene on your LCD that looks like this. There you have all the RGB histograms and if one color is sticking out from the rest of the colors then there might be some color cast to that color. Let's say that it's red that's sticking out then you have a red color cast in your image and all your pictures are, might be too red. But of course if there's a lot of red, if there's a red wall or, or a red shirt with a person when, when you're doing portraits maybe then it's okay but that's a kind of like a warning and if, if one color sticks out then you might need to correct the white balance. And remember, if you shoot only JPEG, then it's very important to have the right color balance in your images because it's a lot harder to correct the white balance when you're making images in JPEGs because JPEG does not have that much information. But of course, if you're shooting RAW, then you have a lot more to work with. So fixing white balance afterwards in post with RAW images can be done without losing any information from the image. But then when you're doing video with the Olympus cameras, I really recommend that you have the correct white balance on your image because it's very, very hard to correct in post the wrong white balance because there's not so much information in the 8-bit video that Olympus cameras make. As I said in the beginning when I was in Unisari that I will go back downtown Helsinki to talk some more about white balance. So stay tuned, we'll see you in a second. And always try to experiment with different kinds of white balance settings and it's fun to try to make a day look like a night time and it's quite easy to do. The only thing you have to do is use a tungsten white balance on your camera on a day like this. The whole scene will look blue and, and if you underexpose a bit then you might have a picture that looks like night time. And in mixed light conditions like this you have daylight coming from there, you have daylight in the back then you have this cafeteria with, uh, with very yellow light. Then you have painted walls which uh, reflects yellow color. And so in, in these situations it's impossible to set the right white balance on your camera. The only right way is to try to match the right white balance to a person's face if there is a person in the picture. Otherwise it's your main subject that you might want to be the color that you want it to be. And that's how to decide in a mixed light conditions. But it's always hard. And especially if you do in JPEG or video, it gets even harder. And you always have to remember that it's you, the photographer, who decides what is right white balance in your pictures. So there is no right answer which is right white balance. And always when I say in this video what is right or what is correct, it's it means what you think is correct. But of course, if you have a subject that you want to be exact the color that it really is, then you need to have very precise white balance. And when the situation is really hopeless, like lighting like this, as you can see, that's all yellow. And then you got whatever colors, you got neon lights over there. It's very wise to use a target in your picture. Just take a picture of the target and your model in the first picture, and then you can choose in your, uh, let's say in, in Lightroom, you can just tell Lightroom that this is neutral color. It, it can be either white or gray and any gray or white color is okay. I have a Lastolite uh, target which is very handy. As you can see, you can fold it up. And also this could be a very good place to test the different white balances. Okay, auto gives like this and then you have the um, sunny, shadow, cloudy, tungsten, fluorescent and the funny thing is that underwater water, ba uh, water balance white balance is the best on this one and this as you can see this is too yellow so it's it's always wise to test the different uh, white balances in a scene if you can't find the right one and if you want to be really creative use a blue target and when you click this with the white balance eyedropper in Lightroom you get really nice yellow cast on your picture and the picture look a lot warmer this particular blue is maybe a bit too much, but the idea you probably understand. 
And when making cityscape images, try to use the tungsten preset on your camera. It can make the sky even bluer and then all the artificial light looks really nice. But as you can see, it's not the blue hour right now. So here's a picture that I took earlier. In this video, all my examples were taken with Olympus OMD EM1 Mark II, but it works the same way in every Olympus camera and to be honest, the same way in any brand. And uh, the philosophy, the theory, it's all the same with any camera. But hey, thanks for watching and bye for now.